Alrighty, um, I'm gonna be doing a remaster of one of my old tutorials, which was how to make a blood affecting gimp. This one's gonna be a lot better and a lot informational. Um, the the blood effect effect is gonna look better than the one that it did inside my other tutorial. That was just crappy. So the first thing I'm gonna do, open up GIMP. Yes, you do need GIMP. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is open up GIMP. I'm gonna go File, New, um, Template. You can select 800 by 600. Doesn't really matter what size. Whatever size you want your image to be. I'm just gonna use 1600 by 1200 because you can always resize it. And I'm gonna go advanced options. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna select transparency. I find it's a lot easier. And I'm just gonna press OK. All right. So now that you have this open, you're gonna press Control, hold down Control, and press L. It opens up the Layers menu. You're gonna right click and you're gonna press New Layer. You're gonna name this layer Blood and make sure it's transparent. Press OK. Place it above the background. Alright, oh my back, oh my back. Okay, so now you can go to the spray pool tool, tool, the airbrush tool. This is not a swimming lesson. And you're gonna go brush and you're gonna change it to sparks. And you can just change the size to whatever you want it to be. Find 200 is the best. I believe. I believe I can find. Okay. You can tweak these options a little. However you want. So I'm just gonna do this now. Basically, just airbrush it. As you can see, it's yellow. But don't worry. We can change that easily. So once that's done, once you have it painted out. It should look something like that. What happened to my lair? Didn't I not... Did I not create a blood lair? Here we go. Sorry about that. So, just take your airbrush tool and just go like that. Whatever you want. Should look something like that. Now you go by colors, and you select red. Go to this layer, lock transparency, edit, fill the foreground color. Oh! You might be saying, that's awesome! That's an awesome blood effect! But you know what? It's, it is, kind of, but it's not the best. To get the best, I'm pretty sure this is what I did last time and I showed you, but to make it a lot better, you can go colors, Make sure you have. Make sure you unselect lock transparency. You need to have that selected when you fill it with foreground color, and you need to have that unselected when you're you're gonna do what I'm about to show you. So you unselect that. Make sure that's unselected. Click on the layer and go colors. All the way down to curves. Presets. Op oh oh oops. Sorry, I did that completely wrong. Channel alpha now you want to move this a little to the left about right there now again you might be saying that's awesome but you know what it can be better so we're gonna take this we're just gonna click on it and we're gonna drag it down this m looks like cartoonish this kind of looks like kind of real you can basically just mess around with the settings any way you want to. Kind of looks more like paint, but it's like it's good for like a blood effect, for like a, a screen or something like a death screen. Now you can go to your regular background, just paint it whatever you want. White, black. So that's your basic tutorial on how to make a blood effect in GIMP. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for the subscribers. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. hope it helped. If it didn't or you have any questions, just leave a comment or send me a message and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, goodbye.